Hello there everyone, Jedi Brick here. Um, a little bit of a stranger video today. I'm gonna be showing you guys my Luke Skywalker army or my Luke Skywalker collection. Um, so I mentioned in one of my other videos from the other day after the Lego convention that I wanted to try to get every single Luke Skywalker ever made. He is my favorite character in Star Wars, so I really want to like have every single one of the hit like the variations that they have made. And here's what I have so far. I'll run through like every single figure, where I got it, stuff like that. So let's get right into it. The very first figure we have here is Farm Boy Luke. This is based off the older version from 1999. This is a remake of that figure though. Uh, I don't have the original one yet. This came in a visual dictionary though, I believe, which is a really cool minifigure. Love the detail on it. I like how they we went with the old face, kind of like what they did with this 20th anniversary figure. We'll get to him in a minute. But yeah, this is a really nice figure. I like it a lot. Really um, looks love that simple design, stuff like that. But let's move on to the other Farm Boy Lukes. So I'm just going to do these two together because they pretty much are the same exact figure. This is the more modern version of the Farm Boy Luke Skywalker minifigure. You have that new head print with the angry side on one side and the smile on the other. And the only difference between these two is just this poncho. It's the same print underneath. As you can see, they both have back printing. But this um, one with the poncho comes from one of the newest Luke Skywalker's line speeders. Not really sure which one because they just made so many at this point. Can't really keep track of like, when that one came out. But yeah, these are the same exact minifigure. I really like this minifigure a lot. Really nice hair piece. I like that one a lot. And yeah, really simple design, just like the last one. Just kind of show off like his like pretty basic average clothing. So the next figure is the Stormtrooper disguised Luke Skywalker. Um, this figure has come in some different places. They're mostly from the larger Death Star sets, which I don't have either of those sets. So I kind of cheated here and I took the Stormtrooper design that was in that set and I just put the farm boy Luke Skywalker head and hair on there to make the figure that comes in the set. So, I mean, there's no like official... There's nothing unique about that figure anyways, so I thought it would be okay to just take the figures that I had and make the figure anyways, because there is nothing exclusive about that figure from that set. So, yeah, that's kind of what I did for this minifigure. This figure is very similar to this first Farm Boy Luke we took a look at. Um, this is the X-Wing pilot Luke Skywalker. This is from the 20th anniversary wave of Star Wars sets. You can see that emblem right there on the back. I really like this figure. It's probably one of my favorites. Um, this came in the Anakin's Pod Racer set, I believe. And, yeah, this is a really nice one, too. You can see how they reprinted the X-Wing helmet right there with the Starbirds right on both sides. And that really nice yellow, simple head print right there. Just a really nice minifigure. I like these ones a lot, like when they remake the older style. I have all of the 20th anniversary ones as well. And this is a really nice part of my collection. And here we have another... X-Wing Luke Skywalker, this one being the more modern day version. You can see all that detail on his chest and those legs. Those just really nice suits. I mean, I do like the detail on these a lot. There is that newer version of the X-Wing suit Luke from the new X-Wing with the dual molded boots. And I think they might have uh, arm printing on the arms. I'm not really sure, but this is a pretty solid minifigure. Uh, you do get a second head as well. Or, yeah, second head with the visor up just a little bit. You can see that the goggles are up. And he has that one, whereas um, they are down. And this comes in pretty much every X-Wing set, so it's not anything super unique. Here is another one of the my favorite Luke Skywalker minifigures that I have. This is the Yavin Celebration Luke Skywalker. This is the second version of this figure that they made with the newer version just coming out this year in that new Yavin set. But this was my first Luke Skywalker, if I'm not mistaken. And I really like this minifigure a lot. We didn't get anything like this for a while, like after this retired. You can see that really nice Yavin metal right there, as well as a unique belt print. Now, unfortunately, my copy did break. That brittle brown, it's stuck in there. So I can't really do anything about it except just keep that leg right there beside it. But... Yeah, this is a really nice minifigure. Not a fan of the hair piece. There's a lot, like, better ones. Like, if I was just to take that. I mean, like, look at the difference that makes. That looks amazing. 
but you know i don't really know why they went with something like that back in the day but they fixed it now and i think the newer version of this minifigure looks a lot better but this one will always have a special place in my heart the next minifigure is also pretty cool looking uh, this is the hoth version of luke skywalker from empire strikes back i got this in the advent calendar from like last year i think really nice minifigure i don't think i've ever had a version of this minifigure till then you can see really nice printing and detail on that belt as well as the commander emblem right there on the chest and he does have a second face too which is a more happy looking face i think this is a really solid minifigure i like the hoth minifigures anyways but i really like this one too here's another one of my favorite luke skywalker minifigures of all time this is the back to tank luke this is the newer one from i think 2016 or 2017 from the like hoth back to tank set with leia this is an amazing minifigure. They don't make stuff like this too often, like these sort of specialty minifigures. Like, we get Farm Boy Lukes, like, every year, but we haven't gotten one of these in a long time. You can see he does have that respirator there on his mouth. He also does have a bit of a black eye from the Wampa attack, and that tube goes all the way down the torso printing. And turning the figure around, you can see he does have back printing, and he does have a second face, too, which is, like, a bit of a smirk. He still does have that black eye, though. This is just an amazing minifigure, and you don't really get to see things like this very often. And here's another Empire Strikes Back minifigure. This is the Dagobah training Luke Skywalker. This is the older one from 2017, not the newest version. But this is a pretty nice minifigure, too. I really like it. I'm actually not sure if that version that just came out this year is a different kind than this one. I'll have to look into that, but... This is a really nice minifigure too. Not a whole lot going on with the torso because it is just a tank top. And you do get some really nice printing on the legs. But the head is really where it like, comes through. You can see he does have that second head print with the um, his eyes closed like he's about to use the force. And on the front he does have that more concerned looking face. Which I think those are just really cool. I like it when we get more like different kinds of head prints for Luke Skywalker. As well as like other named characters. So they can have a bit more expressions than just happy and sad. Here's the newest version of Luke Skywalker that came in my collection, and kind of the reason I wanted to make this video. This is the Rancor attack version of Luke from that Rancor set from 2012 or 2013, but this is a pretty amazing minifigure too. He does have a, I'm not sure if it's exclusive, uh, torso print. Like That's really cool with the, the gray robes on top of the black. And he does have a really nice face print, too. I'm not sure if that's exclusive either, but I do really like it. You can see a bit of a more angry face. And then a happier face on the front. Pretty different than what we get, you know, with today's minifigures. Just a little bit of variation. Like I said, I really like that kind of stuff with minifigures. And here's another version of Episode 6 Luke Skywalker. This was my first version of, like, Episode 6 Luke that came in the advent calendar in 2016. I kind of went into detail on that in one of my previous videos, but this is also like one of my favorites for nostalgia reasons, just because I really like the outfit that he wears in that movie anyways, and I just think it's really cool. You can see he does have some back printing right there, and he has that same face that all the other Farm Boy Lukes and stuff have. He does have the um, same hair piece as the last one, but in the darker tan color, kind of matching what we saw in the Dagobah Luke we just talked about it a few minutes ago but yeah this is definitely one of my favorites mostly because it is nostalgic to me but i think it is pretty nice anyways and we are almost done here with this little army showcase or whatever you want to call it this is the dark trooper attack luke skywalker that came with that 35 dollars set i believe that is still available but it is retiring at the end of this year this is a really nice minifigure too i remember seeing that episode of the mandalorian and almost crying because Luke Skywalker is my favorite character. I didn't expect him to come back at all. So just seeing him and then getting the minifigure version of that scene is just so cool. This is pretty similar to the other version that we just talked about. But he does have that hood, that newer hood piece. Same head print too, nothing crazy with that. All the same stuff. But you can see he does have really nice back printing too. As well as that really nice torso print with that larger belt. And the clip for his lightsabers or his lightsaber, I should say. He does actually have leg printing, unlike the last version of the minifigure. 
which was just plain black legs. So it's pretty cool to see stuff like that on Luke Skywalker and how they can improve him after all these years. And here is the second to last uh, Luke Skywalker minifigure. This is the Last Jedi version of Luke. Now, I wasn't a fan of Last Jedi. I thought it was pretty bad. But I do like the version of Luke they gave us in the minifigure form, at least, not the movie. But this is a really nice torso. I've used it for some customs. And you get this um, exclusive cape, which is really, like, flowy, so it won't crinkle. Just the detailing on this minifigure is really nice, too. On the back, you can see that detail continues there. You get this newer hairpiece, which I've used for my Thor customs in the past. An exclusive head print, I believe. There is one other version of sequel trilogy Luke, but I don't have that figure yet. You can see he does have an angrier face there on the back. This is a really nice minifigure, too. I really like that torso. It looks very High Republic style. I just think that's really unique. And I'm glad they made sequel trilogy Luke because we just get a bit more variation. And here's the final version of Luke Skywalker that I have. And probably one of the most expensive out of all of these. This is the Blue Milk Luke that came with the Rise of Skywalker pre-order. I didn't get this with the pre-order. I bought it off whatnot. I spent like $30 on this. It is probably worth about like $50 or $60 now today. But this is a really nice minifigure. I like that exclusive head print. That's the only thing that's exclusive to this minifigure though. Let's see if I can show you guys that head print that's in there. In that little clear slit right there. You can see that right there. It's a really nice head print. Really cool that they actually like made something exclusive. Not what everyone else wanted. You can see his second face right there. A bit more confused or sad looking Luke. But really cool that they made this minifigure. We all kind of wanted something different. Like a Yaddle or like a really cool minifigure that we haven't gotten yet. But I think this is a really cool addition to the Luke Skywalker. Like, I'm not even sure what to call it, but this is a really cool Luke Skywalker, and I'm happy to have it in my collection. And there they all are. Those are all of my Luke Skywalker minifigures. Um, I obviously don't have a whole lot. There's still quite a lot of them to collect, a lot of them being very expensive, like that original Dagobah Luke and the Bespin Luke Skywalker. But this isn't something I'm going to like try to complete within a year or so. Like This is going to be a slow burn for me. Like, maybe every year I'll get a Luke Skywalker to add my collection, and eventually I'll have every single Luke Skywalker. So it's nothing, like, I'm gonna work on, like, actively. But if I see a Luke that I don't have, yeah, I'll purchase it. But I'm not gonna go out and buy them all at once, if that makes any sense. But, yeah, that's today's video. Um, let me know what you guys think of this video down below. And let me know if you're trying to collect every version of a character. This is one of those things for me. I'm also trying to collect at least one version of every alien in Star Wars. So I am have that collection going on as well. But this is kind of the one that I'm focused on more so. And with all that said, I hope you guys have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.